I start the PI planning. What is PI planning? It's a two days job it's from morning eight o'clock to evening six o'clock. First day, there is set of instructions are there. Second day, there is set of instructions are there. So in PI planning, we can understand the product for the whole train. So one train have uh, five to 10 total teams. All the trains join together, plan for the next five or six iterations. Each iteration is a two weeks or three weeks time. Each and every PA planning, last iteration, we call it as a IP iteration, innovation and planning iteration. In the innovation planning iteration, same two weeks. Okay. The first week, we take all the remaining works of last four to five iteration. What are the works remaining? Join together. What are the works spilled over? Connect together. Try to finish on first week. Understand, come to the understanding how much remain, how much not remain. Second week, if it is Monday to Friday, means second week on Monday, Tuesday, we can use inspect and adapt. Using the inspect and adapt process, you need to understand, inspect for the new things. You need to justify and justify your process. Based on your justification, you need to justify what we can do, what we can't do, and adapt to the new process or new technology or new future, whatever it may be, and plan for the next PI. In this IP iteration, second week, we, we follow the all the PI planning process as your one demo in team level or train level also. Maximum companies never do that. Even PI planning also, they're doing for one day. That is very, very wrong. You need to do the PI planning for two days. And IP iteration, innovation and planning, you need to compulsory, you need to perform. In that innovation planning for two weeks, first week means second week, third day and fourth day, you need to do the whole demo of IP iteration. Better do the team level, it's possible to do train level also. Then last day, 10th day, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday completed, no? last day, ready for the next PI. For the PI, we can do Saturday, Sunday. Otherwise, you take the whole hall on next week. All the people join together. Who all the people? From the ground level, developer to stakeholders. Everybody will join in the PI planning. Why I'm giving this much importance in the PI planning? I need to talk about the scaled agile large solution, essential safe, portfolio safe, full safe, right? I need to talk about this. Why I'm spending in PI planning? There is a only one magic. There is a only one difference between agile scrum, other scrum process, and scaled agile processes, PI planning. There is no biggest magic. I repeat again. We have Scrum.org, Scrum.inc, Scrum Alliance, Exin. All are giving uh, ideas about Scrum. Everybody giving the certifications. Everything is good. I never say others are bad. No, I never say like that. But what is the speciality in Scaled Agile is we have the PI planning. What is the speciality in the PI planning? Everybody will understand Everybody will came to know what is everybody, what is everything, what is everybody means from the beginning of the developer, product owner, scrum master, developer, senior developers, lead, architect, everyone, everyone, my dear friends, till the stakeholders, I can say the full, till the solution level architect, till the higher levels, portfolio level will involve in that meeting, in that planning we call it meeting two days planning what is the plus point here everybody have the understanding have the connection with other team in my team members can easily understand what other team members are doing based on other team members what is the plus point and minus point what is my team plus point and minus point what is the dependency for my my project with other project we never use the word project here we use the word futures my futures is other futures we divide the future in objectives. What is the difference for uh, what are the plus point, minus point of my objectives and others' objectives? 
these are the things we can explain. We can easily show the visibility for each and every employee, each and every member, whether it is a developer, whether he is a tester, whether he is an architect, whether he is a scrum master, whether he is a RTE, whether he is a STE, whether he is a product owner or product management, POPM, whatever maybe. Everyone will came to know what's happening in the team, what's happening in my whole project. So business owner can get the visibility of the team. They can understand how the team can understand my project. They can easily understand that, okay, this is my team. They have this much understanding. I am going to invest so-and-so dollar. My project should be in so-and-so level. They get the understanding. They get the confidence within the team level. We talk about the team in Scrum. Good. Here, we talk about the train here. N number of teams join together. Okay. I have one train. That is a capacity for the train, right? What is the capacity? Minimum to maximum? 50 to 125 individuals. 50 to 125. Minimum 50 means I have a train with five teams or six teams. Each team, five person, six person around, or seven person around, or ten person around, I got 60. Like that, you have to balance it. So, with a medium sized company, which is having more than 60% or 70% working for the single product. If they use the scaled agile, they do the PA planning. Even they perform the PA planning 20% or 25%. I repeat again. Even they perform 25% of the PA planning, the success should be anything else. But they learn correctly. They, if they have the, a good SPC, if they have the good uh, uh, experience in SPCs for PA, only the success rate should be very, very high. Then you can ask me, the people who are using skilled agile never fails. Yes, they fails. I never say they are never. There is no failure, but they can. The failure should be well transparent compared to others. They can find the failure in the beginning itself. After investing many things and then failures, that's the reason we came from waterfall to scrum. Right? Forgot about skilled agile. Why you came to scrum from waterfall? In waterfall, we came to know the surprise only at the delivery. Only at the end of the project, because we design it, we plan it and design it. Based on design, we develop it, we test it, we release. We put the whole plan for 10 months or 6 months or 8 months or 1 year. We consider as a 10 to 1 year. We came to know what is the biggest uh, disaster. We call always a, a client asks for the hours. We develop the donkey. We fight, this is the horse. They say this is the donkey. The fight is keep on going on. Very common fight for the project managers, I know. Talk between the change request or whether it is the error. We say it is a change request. As a developer, client will say, no, no, no. It is not a change request. It is a error. That fight will happen here also. But the fight will happen in every week. I talk about Scrum. I not talk about Scaled. I talk about Scrum. From the Scrum, it Scaled will take to the next level that is called PI planning. You plan for three, 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 three months, actually. Six, 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 six uh, iterations. You plan for six iterations, five iterations, six iterations. First plan to second plan, what is the difference? Second plan to third plan, what you learn from the first plan, how you are planning from the second plan, I use the word plan, plan. No, that is called PI planning. First PI planning to second PI planning, what you learn. Same thing we are doing for set of trains, set of timeline. Because only planning for one week, two week also, we never get the full visibility. And planning only one shot for the whole project, in the last day of the release, we keep on crying also not feasible. It's not good. So you plan for three months. And also you plan for two weeks. That is called iteration. We call it sprint. You plan for two weeks sprint. One second. Is PA planning is same as Scrum? It's not same. 
Scrum is like the common framework. The PA planning is only for scaled agile framework. Do you understand? PA planning is only for scaled agile, not for other Scrum. Okay. In the full picture, if I have only one train, it is called agile release train. We call it essential safe. Without one train, if you are doing the scaled agile, it's waste. Minimum, you need to do one PA planning for one train. Then you say, I'm entering the scaled agile. Because RTE will facilitate the train and product manager will give all the program backlog. And from the program backlog, the product owner get the information for the program, create the team backlog. Next one, I have what is loss solution? More than one train is called raw solution. I mean, more than 125 people or 200 people are working. Individuals I'm talking, individuals. Then split into two train, 100, one, one set of train, another 100, another set of train. So both the train is means I need your common head. That is called solution train injury, STE. So one train is essential safe. Two train joined together is like STE. There we have solution architect will be the technical level and solution manager will be there. He create solution backlog. So from the solution backlog, you come to program backlog. One program backlog, two program backlog. From the program backlog, one team backlog, two team backlog, three team backlog, we get up to 10, not even 10. Sometimes eight teams, here maybe seven teams, whatever maybe. We have the team backlog. Okay. What is portfolio say? I have two trains, but I'm not joining. I don't have STE. Then who will manage? RTE, RTE will manage. There is no common STE. That is called portfolio safe. I think you got it. Essential safe is one train. Law solution trace is a two train, but joined together or three trains joined together. Okay. Portfolio safe means there is no joining of the train. Each and every train run individually. What is full safe? It's a combination of law solution. In full safe, I have two train, one STE. I have two train, one STE. I have another two train, one STE. Uh, this two train, this two train, this STE, this STE, ST, multiple STE is involving that is full safe. Very simple. If you join any safe team, you can say one thing. Sir, do you have STE, sir? They said yes. Okay. One STE or two STE? They said one STE means it is large solution safe. They said two STE means it is full safe. More than one STE means full safe. Clear. If you join one team, sir, do you have STE? They said no. Okay. They said no STE. Don't say do you have train because without train, it is not scaled again. Okay. How many trains are there, sir? More than one train. If it is only one train, essential safe, more than one train means portfolio safe.